Hi, I'm Gadgets Boy, and I'm gonna be showing you how I make my photos go from this to this. All you need is the smartphone that you already have in your hands, and you can do this from the comfort of your home. To do this, I'll be using my Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. It has a big display, which is very good for the editing part, and also four camera lenses. So it's got a wide angle lens, it's got an ultra wide angle lens as well, which is very good. It's one of the ones that I'll be using mainly because it allows me to create that perspective and create some nice leading lines for that sunset image that we're gonna be taking. There's also a telephoto lens as well and a depth center lens, but I won't be using those uh, for the purpose of this uh, tutorial. So the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra is basically a point to shoot camera that's right in your pocket, in your hand. So it's got AI system in there that Samsung uses. It's called Scene Optimizer. So what this does is allow you to take photos without having to worry about anything at all. It does all the work for you. All you have to do is point to the scene and it does all the extra work in the background that you won't even notice. For example, shooting the sunset here, it means that the scene is optimized for sunset. So the sun is popping, the sky is blue and you get a nice foreground as well. For me though, I also explore the pro mode. So using pro mode, I can adjust things like shutter speed, the ISO settings. I can even go into manual settings and, and adjust things like the highlights, the contrast, uh, the tint and all kind of stuff to make sure that I don't have to do much work once I've taken the photo. Two essential tips here, you wanna find the location to shoot. So for me, my balcony is the best spot to capture the sunset here. Secondly, you wanna snap as much as you want. Just keep snapping away, be generous with it because you don't wanna miss any moment. That shot that you didn't think you took might be the one that's actually the best one out of all the lot. Another tip for you is when you tap the screen, for example, you can adjust the exposure. So that slider that you can see on the screen is your exposure slider. So you can drop it down, you can increase it. But in our case, we're shooting the sunset. So we wanna bring it down just a tad bit. So we get more contrast in there, a lot of blacks in there as well. And that sun remains popping and the sky looks nice and blue. Okay, so here we have it. So when you go into your gallery, you can now see all the photos that you've taken. And like I said earlier, I took a lot of photos just to have different options available for me to edit afterwards. So looking through this, I'm gonna pick this one. And the reason why I've picked this one is it still has a good level of brightness and everything else that I need to be able to edit it afterwards to make it look the way that I like my photos to look on Instagram. So the next step is to then tap this pencil uh, button right there at the bottom and then go into this button here. So when you go to that button, then it gives you the option for brightness levels, uh, exposure and contrast as well. So from here, you can start editing your stuff straight from the built-in application on the phone itself. So with this one, you can just drag the contrast level down uh, this way. So it brings the black areas, the dark areas back out again. And also, if you go to exposure, you can drop that exposure down just a little bit as well. So you can start to see that the sun itself is starting to look more pronounced. You can see the rays uh, coming out of it as well. It looks really nice. This is the sort of things, uh, this is the sort of thing that I like to see. Uh, so from there, I can then uh, tap to save that into my gallery, like so. And then once that's done, you can then open up your favorite editing apps. Uh, for example, right now I use Lightroom. And in Lightroom, I can then do all the remaining edits that I wanna do. So this is the one that I've already edited, but what I'm gonna do is if I just restore that back to the import from the gallery, the one that we've just edited, we can then go into light. I'll show you exactly what I did before. In light, you can then adjust different things. So like exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, and so on. So what I wanna do again here is go into highlights and drop that down a bit. So when you drop it down a bit, you can start to see that the orange around the sun itself is starting to look more pronounced as well. It's adding to that uh, sun sunset that you've just shot and it looks really good as well. You can adjust the, the whites. So the reason why I do that is because once you start bringing it back down, it looks too warm on the window ledge. Uh, so if I just bring that on uh, all the way to the right, you can see they look a bit whiter, uh, not too much, but they just, they just look a bit more natural, uh, just the way that I like it to look. You can mess around with the shadows as well. Uh, the shadows, shadows just means that the foreground here just becomes a little bit brighter. It gives you an illusion that the sun uh, is actually like a lamp uh, focusing and shining towards that wall there where you're actually looking at the sunset from. Uh, so I'm gonna leave that there, it looks really nice. And then the next step is to go into dehaze. So in dehaze, this is something that I like to do a lot with my shots. Uh, it just means I can change the clarity, the texture uh, as well. So in here, uh, I'm gonna look at clarity, increase that a little bit. So you can see that the bricks on the wall looks a little, a little bit more pronounced as well. Something that I wanna do, uh, something that I really like to do. And then in dehaze, I can just bring that up. With dehaze, what it does is all the 
little bit over faded areas becomes more pronounced. It brings that details back down. So from all the exposure settings that you've done, you might lose some of that detail. So DH is just bringing it back down. So again, just adjust that as you like to do. So I'm just gonna bring that all the way up here to just show you before. So you can see how faded that looks. So bringing it back down, just bring that all the details back into it and clarity helps with that wall. You can mess around with texture as well, but this is not something that I do quite often, but uh, you can mess around with that and see if that suits your picture and if it, if it adds anything extra to it for you. One thing I like about Lightroom as well is you can see the before and then you can see the after as well. So that way you can see all the changes that you've made and uh, if you're happy with it, you can then export it and then it's ready to share on Instagram. And then what you, one thing that you'll notice as well is we've tried to edit this so it doesn't look too fake and it also reserves preserves all the details in the shots as well. And that's it. I bet you didn't think it was gonna be that easy to do, right? Well, I hope you've learned something new here today and I look forward to you guys trying it out as well. And make sure you tag us at Samsung KX and Samsung UK. Thanks for watching.